If you've not seen our previous video, link up here. The Ford Endeavor is a fantastic car for your family to drive comfortably, even if you need to cross an entire mountain. But what if that family run needs to turn into a family sprint? Well, this is the kind of setup you need. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Hub. My name is Bhavneet Baswani and this is a Stage 2 Ford Endeavor. Let's find out all about it. The Ford Endeavour looks pretty regal from factory, but with a couple of subtle touches, you can make the car look absolutely badass. Like this front grille that makes the car look super menacing in the front along with the, uh, with the front bumper. You've also got these new uh, aftermarket LED he headlights that throw quite good light out. And of course, moving on to the side profile, you can see how big the car is compared to me. And these are only 18 inch tires, but they are 65 section tires, which are massive. And once you're moving along to the side, you can see that the owner has uh, opted for tints and the rear has got uh, blacked out tail lights, making the car look super menacing in this black color. It looks like a level Z security car. And this is something that might push people away while you're driving, which is good news. Now, under the hood of the Ford Endeavor, I've, as we have mentioned before, is this longitudinally mounted 5-cylinder 3.2-litre Duratorque TDCI engine. We've already covered it and it's a very smooth block, but this is a little bit different. It's got an air intake from BMC and a tune from Venom Performance, which now pushes out 250 bhp and 580 newton meters of torque, which I presume is still going to remain that smooth, but the experience is going to be much more exhilarating. So I'm super excited to go into the driver's seat and tell you all about it. So entering the Ford Endeavor, first, first things first, you notice how tall it is. And entering the Endeavor, it is a very nice place to be in. You're filled with leather, very soft touch plastics, and wherever you touch, the build quality is fantastic. First things you notice is how big this place actually is. This is a fantastic place to be in if you want space because you get a lot of it. In terms of uh, technology, you've got driving modes, you've got five driving modes, you've got park assist, you've got uh, gear ratios, uh, four up, four down, you've got every single thing you would expect from a car that is much higher in, a, in its caliber. So. In terms of the interior, the Endeavour over delivers in terms of its segment, which has always hit the right note with the consumer. This is why there is such a big cult following for the Ford Endeavour, because it's such a good proposition for money. And now it's time to drive this. So let's just hop in and go for a little spin. So at the time of filming this video, this car was basically in its stage 1 plus setup and a few days back the owner got himself a performance downpipe. Now with a revised tune and the downpipe, the car makes 2-5% to more BHP and torque. The performance air filter for this car costs 8000 rupees, the tune cost 30,000 rupees from Venom Performance and the downpipe costed anywhere between 15 to 20,000 rupees. Now back to driving. So the best thing about the Endeavour is that you don't need to worry about road surfaces. Something that every Indian in every car needs to worry about. Is this place too bumpy? Am I going to scrape my car? Well, nothing of that sort. This thing is going to walk through anything you think about. This specific road has been used to test cars like an Abarth that was lowered, uh, the VRS 600. And we've all been I'm frankly speaking, shitting ourselves driving through this tiny little lane. But in the endeavor, it's a piece of cake. To be honest, it was not even an effort that needed to be thought of. On the move, it is a very big car. It is a huge car. I mean, it is a little difficult to work around through traffic and the visibility could be a little bit better since it's quite boxy. But Driving it through traffic once you are used to the dimensions is a piece of cake because the throttle is quite lazy so anyone can drive it, it does not feel notchy at all and it is 
very forgiving in terms of steering feel because it is an absolute cloud to steer there is no effort that needs to be put in any form of input into the car it is such a relaxing drive but put your foot down in this car and the amount of torque that comes from the front wheels makes it actually really a little bit which is so much fun and it is quite easy to move and maneuver around the city with because when you think about it big cars get more priority on the street for no reason whatsoever it's just so easy to bully other people on the street i cannot i mean it is something rather meek to say but it is the sad truth of our indian roads and this gives you that kind of confidence where you're just not worried that someone is going to bully you out of a chowk bully you out of a cross road and that is something that a lot of people seek for in a car i mean if you ask my mother if you ask uh your parents they will be thinking about cars that are effortless to drive and this is exactly that plus when you get into a sticky situation the cameras all around the car are very useful you've got parking assist everywhere and it definitely does not let you get too close to everything because it starts beeping quite early in fact this is a very easy car to drive given the dimensions of the car now talking about the engine response this car feels a little bit more ready than the previous uh, stock setup that i had driven however it is not something that is super menacing and it's still very smooth now when you want to dive into the rabbit hole of mods with the ford endeavor it is a very very deep hole because in fact you can actually change the turbo in this uh you can lift the car up you can go for some really extensive off road suspension you can go you can upgrade your axles you can do so much work to these cars and the best thing is that they're not that expensive to work on plus they'll still stay a daily car because you're not going to be doing something that's going to absolutely ruin its drive in fact you're going to do something that's going to improve its drive for the kind of roads uh we have in our country and that is a huge plus point imagine not imagine being able to convince your family for mods that are going to be purposeful for you and comfortable for them big win win Now if you're looking for a doomsday mobile look no further than the Ford Endeavor. It comes super capable from factory. You can go anywhere anytime. But this specific setup has become a mile muncher. If you need to run away from zombies during a nuclear fallout, this is the car that you definitely need. Do let us know what are your thoughts on the Ford Endeavor and what would you do with your Ford Endeavor. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.